Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 8, lesson 1, factors and multiples. Page number is 485. Okay, before starting this lesson guys, you have to understand the difference between factors and the multiples. Actually, the factor pairs and the multiples. Okay, let me show you here on white screen okay this one for example if I ask you guys that if I give you a number let's say 6 and ask you guys to give me the factor pair factor pairs of 6 and multiples of 6 okay so you have to understand the difference between the factor pairs and the multiples so what are the factor pairs of 6 pair means what guys pair means 2 it means you have to find out something which is 2 so the factor pair means you have to find out 2 numbers when you multiply them you get 6 how? Like this. 1 times 6. 2 numbers. This is a pair. Pair. Okay. 2 numbers. When you multiply them, you get 6. So it is a factor pair of 6. What is another factor pair of 6? You can say 2 times 3. 2 times 3. 2 numbers. Factor pair of 6. Anything else, boys? No. Only this. Similarly, if I ask you, give me the multiples of 6, so very simple, the multiplication table of 6. 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 2, 12, 18, 24. And it depends on the question that how many multiples I ask you. Okay? It continues. If I ask you 10, give me 10. If I ask you 5, like that. Okay? So the factor pairs like this, two numbers, when you multiply them, you give you get the same number and the multiple simple the multiplication table of that number so this is the difference between factor pairs and multiples now let us move to the lesson the first question they want us to find the factor pairs of 48 so all these are the factor pairs of 48 1 times 48 2 times 24 3 times 16 4 times 12 6 times 8 all these are factor pairs. When you multiply them, you get 48. Here they write them again. 1 times 48, 2 times 24, 16, 4 times 12, 6 times 8. Next page. Now they want you to find out that is 64 a multiple of 4? Actually, you will write the list multiples of 4 now, not the factor pairs. Okay? So the multiples of 4, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, 48, 52, 56, 60, and 64. So yes, 64 is a multiple of 4. If I ask you to give me the factor pairs of 4, so that is just like this, 1 times 4. Pair means you, give, you have to give two numbers, factor pairs, okay? 1 times 4 and 2 times 2. That's it. And this one, you write the multiples of 4 until you reach 64. Okay, there is another way, the first way, to find out that 64 is a multiple of 4 or not. What you have to do for that, you have to divide 64 with 4. 64 as a dividend, 4 as a divisor. You divide it, okay, 4 times 1, you just take the 1 number because 1 number in the divisor. 4 times what will give you 6 or less than that. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. More than 6. You cannot take that. So 4 times 1, 4. 6 minus 4, 2. You bring the 4 down, 24. 4 times 6, 24. 24 minus 24, 0. So no remainder. When there is no remainder, it means yes, 64 is a multiple of 4. This is a multiple of 4. If you find a remainder here, then you will say no. This number is not a multiple of that device. 
factor pairs of 46, 1 and 46, 2 and 23, 1 and 76, 2 and 38, 4 and 19, okay? Similarly here, they are asking, is 66 multiple of 6? Yes, you divide it, 66 divides it, 6 times 11, 66. 86 divide 4, divide it, if you find remainder, it means no, okay? 78 divide 3, divide it, if you find remainder, it means no, but here you don't find the remainder, so it's yes. Here, guys, on the next page, independent practice, find the factor pairs of all these numbers. First, try to find it by yourself, then match your answers from this video. Okay, here, they are also finding the factor pairs of 60, 1 and 60, 2 and 30. Instead of writing in line, they write it in one line like that. 1 and 65, 5 and 13, 1 and 37, like that. Instead of and, you can write multiply also. You can put the x multiplication sign. Here, same, you have to divide it and find it. If there is a remainder, it means no, it's not the multiple. If there is no remainder, it means yes, that is the multiple. Uh, from these numbers, you have to find, circle the multiples of this one. 14 is no, 18, yes, it is a multiple of 3. 27 is a multiple of 3. 32, no, because 3 times 10 is 30 and 3 times 11, 33. 45, yes, 60, yes, like that. Similarly, 24 is not a multiple of 7. 38, no, 42, yes. So you have to find out the multiples of these numbers. Next page, here, factor pairs of 49, 1 and 49, 7 and 7. Okay, one more thing was, I want to tell you here, the last page. Any number like this, just have one factor pair that is known as a prime number. And any number that have more than one factor pairs, like this, have more than one, two or more, like this one have two, okay, this one have more, okay, so that is what, composite number. So again, boys, keep this thing in mind, it is very important thing. Any number that just have one factor pair, that is known as a prime number. So 59 is a prime number. Any number that have more than one factor pair, that is a composite number. 54 is a composite number. Yeah, well, next page now here. Uh, factor pairs of 49. Ally is counting a lot by 6. Will she say the number 73? 6 times 73 is a multiple of 6? No. Uh, write two numbers between 55 and 65 that are both multiple of same number. So they write these two. You give me another example in the comment box, guys. Okay. Write two more numbers less than 55 that have this factor 40. Uh, without dividing or listing multiples, how can you tell if 61 is a multiple of 6? Okay, how can you tell? You see, this is 61. 6 times 10, 61. 6 times 11, 66. It is in between. So no, it is not a multiple. Right? So this is the way. How are factors and multiples related? Multiples are the product of factors. Got it? Product means the answer of multiplication. When you multiply two number, the product. This is the answer. So the multiples are the product of factor, the answer of multiplication. I hope you understand the lesson, guys. If you really understand, don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day.